Before we start this video, a large thank you to Zach, Alessandro, Fabricio, Courtney, Brock, Joshua, Mathis, Frank, Andrew, Braze, and Bruce for their support on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello guys, and now if we go to our item stats window, you can see our weapon displays the offensive and defensive stats, but our armor doesn't display anything, so we're going to fix that in this video, or add it in, should I say. We're going to use the same method that Dark Souls 3 uses. We're going to display our armor's absorptions on the left, and then the resistances on the right. Now, we don't actually have resistances, but I'm going to put in a numerical value for them anyway, and we can incorporate them later on. So I'm going to go to the UI window here, and I'm going to go to 2D view, and double click on it and just open it up in the scene view here. What we want to do is go down and just enable the item stats window and then we're going to duplicate our weapon stats game object here. And we can kind of use this to our advantage because we already have the organization set up where we have two columns, the left and right side, which is what we're going to need again, but we're going to have to rename some things. We have attack power and damage absorption. In Souls 3, the armor absorption is on the left side, I believe, and the resistances is on the right. So what you can just do over here now is rename your titles and then rename whatever you need to. So I'm just going to call this damage absorption. And this will be how much the armor absorbs from the total damage uh, in a percentage value. And over here, you can just call this one resistances. And like I said right now, the only effect we have in the game is poison. We don't have a resistance system for it yet, but we can do that in the future. And if you make one resistance system, you can make them all because it's just some math, really. So when we go over that in the future, I will uh, just elaborate on that a little bit more. So I'm just going to rename this to, instead of physical, I'm going to call this poison. And keep that value there set at zero, the same as before. And I'm going to rename the game object, though, to poison uh, resistance text instead of physical amount text. Just like that, good to go. Now, up here, I'm just going to minimize this game object and where it says attack power, I'm gonna rename this to damage absorption. And then where it says damage absorption down here, I'm gonna rename this to resistances or resistance, whichever you prefer, as long as it's clear and it indicates what is below the game object. All right, so on the title here now, I'm gonna go down and uh, I'm just gonna rename this attack powers game object to damage absorption. I'm gonna copy that from the title. And then again, physical and magic can stay the same because it is uh, the damage absorption type. So you have to change that if you don't want to. So you could say physical absorption if you'd like, or you can just keep it to physical. So opening up the item stats window UI script, I'm gonna add a header. I'm gonna call this armor stats. And then I'm going to paste error, or should I say place, a couple of text variables down here. I'm gonna call the first one uh, physical absorption or physical armor absorption. Uh, text. This will represent the physical amount the armor absorbs that will be updated on the UI on the left side of the panel. And let's actually call it armor physical absorption. And that's the middle panel, left side of the middle panel. And let's make another one again below this for the magic and then one for resistance. And like I said, if you guys want to add lightning and dark as before, I've stated it probably a dozen times now, you can do that. I won't do it because it is exactly the same and I don't want to take up too much time um, doing the same thing four or five times. I want to really just nail how to do these things and leave it to you guys from there. So uh, let's copy and paste the update weapon item stats, replace the weapon item with armor item. I think I call it equipment item actually, let me check equipment item yes i did there it is so i'm going to call that equipment item and then what we want to do is rename the function and the variable um, so let's start by renaming the function i'm going to call this update armor item stats and then right click on weapon and it'll actually rename everything in this function so let's just change that to armor or equipment whatever you prefer and we can keep much of this. This stays the same. We're checking to see if we have an item name. If we don't, we're not filling it in. We're checking to see if we have an icon. If we don't, we're not filling it in. And then lastly down here, we need to change this. So what we want to do is reference our new text variable, the armor physical absorption. And we're going to get that by going to the armors. I think it's just called physical defense. We made this so long ago. Uh, let's see now. Let's make the magic variant too. I'll paste that right there. So we're going to say armor dot... Let's see what it's called. Physical defense. Yes. Okay. And then do the same for magic defense. Should you have it? I don't think we have a magic um, absorption variable set on our armor right now, or I don't think we also do the calculations for that, but it's the exact same as physical. You just add in another variable. I'm going to add that quickly, actually, just for the demonstration purposes of the UI. So go to your equipment item scripts, which is the base class for armor. And yeah, here we go. I have pseudo code for this. 
So magic defense, that's from ages ago, lightning, fire, and darkness. Just going to add a magic defense uh, variable. And I'm going to also add a header for resistances. And I'm going to add a float for poison resistance. And if you guys aren't familiar with what a resistance does, it actually affects the time it takes for you to get poisoned. So the greater your resistance, the longer it will take the build up to actually fully poison you if you're not familiar with Souls games. So resistance is kind of like a defense against effects. All right, now back into the item stats on the UI. We just simply say armor, uh, poison resistance, text dot text. So what we need to make that variable first. I forgot about that. Let's add a public text. We'll call it armor, poison, resistance, text. And then we're just going to do the same thing that we did with the absorptions and just basically reference the string value from the armor uh, item and put it to a string or the uh, flow value, sorry, and put it to a string. Now let's change this to armor stats dot set active equals true and set active equals false. And don't worry, we haven't made that variable yet. It's not a mistake. I'm just going to put this here because we're going to make it right this second. All right. So now let's go up here and we want to make a game object. Let's call this armor stats, similar to weapon stats. And this is what we're going to use to disable and, enab and enable the window uh, in the UI screen. All right, so let's find where we're calling our weapon stats. I believe we call it on the individual script that sits on the UI icons. And yes, we do. So this is called weapon equipment slot UI. Let's find our armor equipment slot UI scripts. And they stand or sit on the squares that the armor slots are on on the UI. So let's go grab those real quick and open all of them up. Now let's open up the left panel and then go to the equipment screen window, open this up right to the bottom, go to armor. And now the head slot, body slot, leg slot, and hand slot all have their own respective scripts that I have to make a base class for in the future, as somebody pointed out. <laughs> And we're going to open those up and we're going to go down to where it says select this item, I believe it is called. We'll see in a second. Let me open this up. So if I scroll down here now, minimize all this. Yes, select the slot. So right under where it says UI manager dot this slot is true. You want to say UI manager dot and then call upon or uh, the reference of our uh, script. It's item stats window UI and then say dot update armor stats and then pass the item in the script which will always be an equipment item because this is an armor only slot okay so then copy that and do the same thing for the other four scripts they're all identical in logic the only thing that is different is they change which slot is selected which is why in the future we're going to make them all derive from a base class and use virtual voids and we'll change the select the slot virtual void okay go down here and do that as well and after you have all those done, that should function as normally. Now, um, let's go back into the game here and drag in our variables. So we have the armor stats game object window, which is dragged in by using the armor stats game object. And now under here, we have our uh, absorptions and our resistance. I'm actually going to rename this because this just says poison resistance. And as you know, that's a bad practice. I'm going to call this armor poison resistance. So in the event, everything comes unhooked in the UI. You can just search this in the hierarchy and find it by its exact variable name. Trust me when I say this, that is a very good practice because it's happened to me uh, before and you don't want to have to go searching for every individual variable for the UI if it should come unhooked somehow. So I'm going to drag in the armor physical absorption text and the magic physical absorption text. I'm going to rename that first like so. There we go. Go back up now and select, make sure that's spelled right. There we go back to the item stats window, and then I will drag that in. Okay, cool. So now let's uh, hide or uncheck our armor stats window. And then let's hide or uncheck our item stats window. So we're back to a normal UI screen. Now, if I go in, you'll see that if I scroll over the armor, nothing is happening. That's because we forgot a step and we forgot this before too, I think. We have to, or I forgot it, I should say. We have to go into the uh, head, body, leg, and hand slots and add an event trigger for on pointer, enter, and select. This is because right now it's only running the code, select this slot if we click it. And by the time we click it, we open the inventory and then it's irrelevant. So we want to update the stats while we're viewing the equipment in the window itself. So take your respective script and use select this slot. So for the head slot, put on uh, select the slot, drag in head slot, and then for the body slot, drag in the body slot script, and then um, use the select this slot function. So again, you want on pointer exit, or on pointer enter, and select these two events, and then drag it in both, 
and whichever the script is, if it's body, you select the slot, drag in the body. If it's legs, drag in the legs and use select this slot. All of the scripts have the same function now. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that's done, we go into the game here now and I go to the equipment window. And if we go down to the equipment, you can see it works. It is showing our damage absorption and our resistances. I'm going to update some of the items uh, just in just a second uh, to showcase poison resistance, make sure it works. So I'm back here now in the game. I'm going to go and you can see it changed the UI so it's a little bit easier to read. And I've assigned some resistances to everything here, uh, but not a poison resistance. So I'm going to do that real quick, but it's working as intended. Okay, back in the game again, and now I have the poison resistances, and everything works, and the magic resistances, everything is working as intended. But there is one small problem. If I scroll over the weapons, you can see the armor game object does not deactivate. So basically, we need to make it so the armor stats window and the weapon stats window close when they're not being used. We do this by making a private void on the item stats window UI script called close all stat windows. And we call this before updating any of the stat windows. So what we do is say weapon stats dot set active false and armor stats dot set active false. Anytime you add a new window, make sure you add it to this uh, function here if you need to close it if something else is open. And then simply right at the top of each of our other functions, we call this function. And that will make sure that all windows are closed before opening a new one. It's just as easy as that. So just under your update uh, weapon item stats right at the top and then under your update armor item stats right at the top now we save that we go back into the game now if we open up the equipment screen and we go into the armor or weapon equipment and cross over from either or you can see that the previous one will close so i'm on the armor now it's working fine i go up to the items or the weapons and there we go the other one closes now that ui is a bit easier on the eyes if you guys want you should add some icons next to the damage types too i've done that in nephilim it really just adds to it really make it your own and just experiment with making it look nice again i'm trying to cover the functionality here so i'm not gonna get into the aesthetically pleasing aspects unless you guys would like to see that if you want a video on making the ui look pretty just let me know uh, and until then, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to drop a like, leave a comment. It does genuinely help out this series so, so much. And a large thank you to my patrons. It's because of you guys I get to keep making the content. I appreciate you all so, so much. I will see you in the next video. And the next video will be covering charged attacks. And then after that, we're going to jump back into polishing the UI some more.